by the time this video goes up i probably would have already spoken i'm back in london i don't want to say life is a mess but i wasn't expecting this you know of course so i've been here for a couple of weeks and it's been tough it's been hard i don't really want to get into it now but you know life is life in right now whoa i feel a tear coming up we have to just like keep going we have to keep going i'm getting ready because i'm heading into the city i've got a few things that i want to do and just so you guys know whenever i'm in london well most of the time i spend a lot of time at my sister's place she also looks after the dogs just so you guys know i'm very grateful truly grateful because i'm not gonna lie with this cost of living crisis saving money on rent right now Let's play a little game Just between you Look, I haven't even unpacked my shit from NY Yeah, none of my liquids ever have caps I know I'm that much of a tramp Actually, I need to not say that because I don't want to be mean to myself I'm going through a lot already I'm going to do literally a light beat I'm going to get my nails done You know the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer? I'm one of those girls, guys Me? Need a full face of foundation? Oh, come on i'm a tinted moisturizer babe stop i would love to be able to come on camera just be able to like be so on point and know what's going on in my life right now genuinely guys i don't know what's happening in my life right now every time you think mm, yes okay life will throw you curveballs life will throw me a curveball i will hit that shit right out of the park every single time every single time i haven't filmed a video talking about everything that's happening yet because obviously this is real time but by the time you guys have watched this the video is probably out so you guys will have like a better understanding of where my mind's at like i've got so many things i just want to like fill you guys in on and i just can't do it now because like can't i can't do that right now i just can't i just can't oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna cry and that's what grief does you be minding your business paying on your glam and then boom you just want to start crying oh my gosh there's a tear coming out i can't do this i feel like lisa rinna right now with the bunny but i didn't cry the tears came up and then the tear came out and that's the great thing about using tinted moisturizer because look i just cried and now i'm applying like another layer of tinted moisturizer and it's like blending in really nice guys get this tinted moisturizer i'm putting you on because it's basically cry proof i'm just getting my nails done and i'm just going central i'm just trying to do like a light beat but where i'm actually taking this look i can't even tell you because i'm actually just doing my everyday makeup routine oh i'm exposing myself to y'all i'm so sorry Mm -mm. I just hate lip line. For me, it just doesn't do anything. Can I do this one? I know these lashes are dramatic. I know people don't wear lashes like this anymore. I need to go buy lashes today. Please, guys. Seriously. Can I tell you guys something funny, though? If you guys want to laugh. So the other day, my ex-partner actually came to see my mom. Because, you know, my stepdad died. I knew him from when I was younger, right? Back in the day like when my mom first met him he would always like buy my mom like really nice things so my mom's always loved him like she's always like oh my gosh like i really love him i just think it's because he's nigerian because i feel like just like nigerian men just know how to act around your family well from what i've experienced i don't want to generalize but my mom asked for water and coke he came and brought like big box it's got like bare little waters in it and then he got like two bottles of coke and i was like <sighs> whatever my sister goes and asks this boy when are you gonna marry my sister why would you do that you put me in such an uncomfortable situation like you know i'm not happy like why would you do that he goes and says and throws me under the bus and says i've been wanting this girl forever she's the one playing games ah why would you say that now how did i get into it did i see so, how i get it wrong it should never apologize he gave this man to dinner and drink he been so sweet to me opening car doors I don't like every single time I leave you, you want to come back better. No, you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me this time. I know it's because you want me to stay here and you don't want me to fly back to New York, but honey, I'm flying back. Never gonna catch me. No, no, no. I'm going to live my dreams. No, 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 no. 
I am so different from the woman that I was when we were like dating and in a relationship and I'm not shying away from who I am I am who I am okay I've realized oh my god he loves it too he tells me all the time oh my gosh I just want peace if you want peace sir why are you still talking to me <laughs> Cause you're not you know guys I don't I stopped sharing this type of shit like a long time ago I'm just sharing because this is funny because I'm doing my own thing so a girl is bringing in wrecks okay I don't really want to have people in my life that like disrupt what I've got going on do you know what I mean like if I'm having a good day working on content I don't really want to have someone on my line just being mean to me for no reason or like being passive aggressive for no reason I don't want that so I wouldn't want to be that for someone else do you get what I mean like like I would want someone that comes into my life and like brings me joy you know be the best part of that person's day kind of thing like that's where I'm at I'm not like in the place where I want to be disrupted to someone that I'm dating like that's not what I'm on as much as I'm not like disruptive I am hella dramatic okay it might not be like towards you but like I'm just like a dramatic person and I just don't feel like is that really peace when a man says oh yeah i want peace like mm, i think oh you want a quiet good girl like none like mm. but then he was like i love that about you so it's just like what do you want confused and because i've got a lot of stuff going on i'm just like is this really what i need to be doing right now in my life i'm literally just sharing that to make you guys laugh like it's not that serious of a situation so let's not make it like a really deep deep situation because it's not okay i feel like i look so chubby but i don't know whether it's my body's a small fear i feel like my face looks so chubby but look at that neck oh my gosh even if my face looks chubby at the end of the day i don't even mind that neck though is coming through that's the most important thing neck okay look how long these lashes are like it's just not the vibe 20 years time my children are gonna be like mom what the hell what are you doing and they're gonna have an american accent you know they're gonna have an american accent because you know why they daddy got me from new york stuff I'm joking. Guys, I'm literally having fun in my life. Leave me alone, stop. I wanna do like a really pink blush. Can I tell you something? Smiling pictures make me very uncomfortable, but I feel like I have to start doing more smiling pictures because I'm gonna look back in my life and I'm gonna be like, was I ever happy? Because why am I, do you know what I mean? So if you guys see me all of a sudden just doing smiley pictures for no damn reason, I'm sorry guys, I am so sorry. I just hate smiling like you're just here by yourself and you're just smiling look it looks so fake I hate smiling pictures oh god they're just like why are you smiling can we also talk about the fact that my voice has gone deeper why the hell has my voice gone deeper I was watching a recent video man I was like I don't like that because what are you smiling about you're by yourself and there's nothing happening but that's not okay. Let me just go. With my bestie. Uh, Hi, Lillian. Hey. We are going to get our nails done because our nails mush up. My I've had that she reached the point is I have to call it ghetto because it's missing. And the worst thing is we had a nail appointment yesterday and Lillian decided to go and collect my Chanel bag. I kind of like, kind of persuaded her to do that. You did. I did. I look so horrible right now. I don't know. It's just the lighting and my makeup just looks like I'm not even it. But we're in the Uber right now. And guys, let me tell you something about me. I prefer Uber XLs. Okay. And I don't know why the hell Lillian ordered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe because I'm used to Addison and Lee's, that's why. I think so. The space. I just like space in cars. And I haven't seen my nail tech in so long before I actually went to New York. And he's gonna be like, you back already? And I'm gonna be like, yes, I am. One thing I love about my nail tech, without a doubt, he be wanting to know what's going on with my life. Like, when I was telling him, oh yeah, I'm going to New York, you're not going to see me for a while. He was like, really? Who's going to look after your dogs? Like, he's so concerned about the dogs. Like, what's happening with the dogs? Oh, we're here. Okay, this is my nail tech, guys. Please don't come here and ruin it for me. Everyone always asks me where I get my nails done. This here is my nail salon. I don't like sharing things with you guys like this. I'm sharing it because like I'm gonna be in New York for a while, so I'm not gonna gatekeep. I'm like two hours late, guys. Hi. 
Hello. How are you? Well, full set last time, right? Yeah, full set. That's what you did for me. But now you want to take everything off star Take it off star again, yeah. So come to my nail salon, guys. We're going to take care of you. Tell them Annie sent you, right? Yep. Liliana has a boyfriend that sucks at her. I've got a boyfriend. Oh my god. She has a boyfriend that sucks at her. That's why she's doing her toes now. No, I didn't. So, what are you doing your toes for? For myself, for everything. So, she's. Oh, hey, Kwan. I'm not asshole that is wearing sunglasses inside, but I'm just tweeting them. Don't watch my toes, guys. I've got some more toes. So, guys, I just finished my feet. Now, we're gonna do my nails. And my food is done here. <laughs> me tipping 25 pounds that's what i do because they hook me up and inconvenience all that i take care of mine oh okay okay so so we just finished at the nail salon. We're going into Central now. I actually hate filming on my iPhone, but my battery died. We gotta do what we gotta do. Usually we catch fewer. But we thought we were gonna be humble today. You know, the, the cost of living crisis. We thought, yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, take the train. Why not? Oh gosh, yeah. These lashes, child. They're getting in the way of my glasses, child. Am I okay? I've lived in London all my life. I always thought that this station, I thought that was the entrance for Marlebone Station. I always thought that's Marlebone Tube Station. So where the hell is Marlebone Tube Station? I'm so confused. It's Edgware Road. And that makes sense because I'm at the top of Edgware Road. But I'm like, that is strange. Lils, do you wanna just walk down? See, this is Northwest. NW1. So I know these ends. Guys, I tried to be humble, tried to catch a train. I was thinking about catching a bus, but no, I'm gonna take a new bar because I just wanna be comfortable. And at the end of the day, life is short and it's all about being comfortable, guys. Okay, just leave me alone. Okay, why are we going in Central? Do you know why? We have one objective, okay? The one. We're going into Central for one, two, three, jewelry, accessories, okay? It's not everyday Chanel earring, Cartier ring, Rolex, like, it's not everyday Gucci earrings, Lillian. Look, every day Why are you throwing them off? Talk just, about the bag. Because they're going to be like, you're talking about jewelry. Right, so why are you bringing up your bag? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, they're going to call you out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the one to do first. Okay? They're not going to forgive me. Yeah. They're just going to be like, oh yeah, you're trying to afford your Gucci bag. It's not every day. Do you know that there's a cost of living crisis? Oh. <laughs> Very much aware. But not the bag I'm, though. I'm, 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 <laughs> I don't even talk about my Gucci bag. You can't be out here flexing. What did you just do? <laughs> Do you know what would be so funny if this guy came to life? They stand like this and then they come to life and then people are like, ah! Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, so. Eight minutes for Uber. God damn it, bus comes in two damn minutes. Oh my gosh, to be in London though. I'm like dragging my feet. I'm joking, man. I love being here. <laughs> Right now. This is not even the main boots that I want to go to, but it's the first boots I saw. So I'm thinking, mm. <sighs> of course, I'm going to pop into the drugstore and get a few drugstore bits and bobs. I want like a dark lip gloss. <laughs> We're in the super drug now. I'm looking for a lip combo, just like a drugstore one that I can wear every day. Because I lost my combination while I was coming back from New York. I don't know why I put my shirt. Ooh, cream bronzer. Is there not any darker? It's not the sides of the line. I thought they closed down this off. Wait, what? I didn't even notice this. That's what I'm shocked about. I really love the L'Oreal Odra wine stuff. In boots, I slap my own bum. Did you see me? Wish me good luck, guys, because I'm really going to try my, find my lip combo. Guys, this is my favorite cream. You just spray it on. <laughs> it's literally so lit. Like, it's my favorite. Is it? Yes. Why are you getting one? I'm buying one, get one free. For me? Yeah. Uh, I feel so embarrassed for UK drugstores. Being a black girl, yeah, in the UK, going to a UK drugstore to find a lip combo for deep, dark skin. <laughs> Impossible. I'm shocked, like the lip linings, yeah. Why don't they go deep brown? Why don't they do that? They don't. It's just so embarrassing. I feel embarrassed. Every time I have high hopes. I know I've always mentioned this so many times, but I feel like you have to like trek central, central, central to find something or go high end. 
it's embarrassing like genuinely listen super drug boots you guys need to do better i'm so sorry because it's actually embarrassing it's so embarrassing this brand probably doesn't even have a shade deeper than this but my thing is brands that do have deeper shades like this the stores never stop them oh sorry super drug done now we're gonna go urban because it's somewhere like a size 12 or teeny i can shop in urban again guys you know how long it's been since i shopped in urban all my days stop oh this do i need this <laughs> imagine this with the silver sunglasses that would be cool. got a few things i'm looking at the banties those is like don't even think about it she already knows she said i got too many How are you looking for me? I was right here. Are we done after Zara? Yeah. I wish it was like a top shot. Uh, bags of food. You want two medium sized bags? Can I get two medium sized bags? Yeah. Also, guys, students get 10% off. So, I'm a student of the Lord. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, okay. <laughs> no, that's a new one. I'm having such an idea for that. I'm sorry, guys. What, student of the Lord? Yeah. <laughs> How can I see the idea of I'm still. I don't have a Bible passage. <laughs> okay, guys, I just have to say this here. Yeah, this girl. <laughs> she was. You said jewelry only. Ask her how much. I said jewelry only. Ask her how much she spent here. 188. And this is only our first store. My goodness. With your bag. Look how many bags. Now turn around. How many bags, please? Ridiculous. Is this jewelry? Is this jewelry? Zara and the first floor of Suffrages, ground floor. Okay, okay. Fine. We can compromise. Zara's right there. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Let's just check Bershka. Let's check Bershka. Bershka's the cheaper version of Zara. Don't tell the internet for that. Do you see what I mean? We should have just been in here. Oh, that's nice. Do you want one? How one is it? 55. I should feel like returning this stuff back. <laughs> The blazer. It's just on the Vatican. Guys, I literally, Lilian said she's gonna go downstairs and get me a blazer. She's saying, and you found something for yourself though? I just saw this when you were talking about the blazer. I was like, let me try it on. We're in Bershka, and I know I said we're only gonna get accessories. I lied, but I didn't know that I was gonna lie. I'm buying more than accessories. Oh, hello. Hi. I'm buying more than accessories and I'm even embarrassed for everyone involved, including myself. Look, I'm embarrassed for you the most. I'm embarrassed for you the most. I think we can bring cameras in the changing rooms. It's not like I'm from you. Let me see that. Oh, that is cute, but it's like, it's not giving. Yeah, no, it's really not giving. No. There's growth of a Do you know what I wish? I, got, I wish I got it in like an extra large, but it's fine. This is a large, so it's fine. I want it oversized, but girl, I'm gonna have to shrink this. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is so nice. Just like imagine this with like all black. There's a matching skirt downstairs, but you guys think I'm gonna risk it? Hell no. I really think you should get it. Can I try it? What size is it? Medium. Forty or forty-two. This is a medium, guys. And then just try it on. Maybe it's just a thing where you need to get it in like, like small. This is why I don't like leaving my house, going shopping. Because I'm carrying bare bags and guess what? I'd rather just pay £5 delivery fee. So I'm going to have to pay £5 to get home anyway. Do you know what I mean? So we're not going Zara. I don't know. I'm scared now. Let's just walk past, see what happens. <laughs> Looks so trash right now, but guys, 
I'm so tired. We both said. <laughs> Just jewelry. I am embarrassed. Very. <laughs> to be very embarrassed with yourself. I'm very embarrassed with myself. I'm embarrassed with myself. I wasn't like crazy. I think I spent like around like 600 pounds. Yep. But I literally brought nothing. Like that's how I feel. I literally feel like I brought nothing. Really? Yeah. And the thing is, I needed to buy lashes and I needed to buy a lip combo. Did I get to buy those things? No. I'm supposed to be going out to Martha's tonight, but I'm not going to lie. I wanted to install a wig on today and I've got work that I needed to do. So I'm just like, I feel like I need to stick to my word there. Yeah. She might not give me another chance. She needed to write today, but I'm just going to go home, take off my makeup. I might do another wig, you know, because I kind of want to wear curly hair. Okay. This straight hair, it's not moving the way that I want, and I think it's because it needs to, I need to wash it. When I was flying into New York, I got this perfume, this Burberry perfume. Burberry hair, this is the one. I love a bit of Burberry. Let me show you guys everything I got today. I got a lot of stuff. We're gonna be here for quite some time. So first we'll start off in boots. I got quite a bit of stuff from boots. We love this body wash a lot. This is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me body wash. So do I need to have it focused? Can I just link it down below? Lil, will you link it down below for them? Yeah. I love this, oh, I love the scent of this so much. Don't you love it? It's so good. No, oh, the girls have changed. We don't use this anymore, but I feel like it's a really good hairspray for just like styling hair in general. My deodorant, I love a bit of Dove deodorant. It's like the um, cucumber one. Let me even smell it. I didn't even smell it in the store. Yeah, new friend, cause we're women and we get periods. And we also date men and they give us headache. When I do my skincare regimen, like morning and night, I need a foam wash to like scrub my face. And I hate buying a foam wash that finishes so quickly. Like usually when I get like a regular size foam wash, if I'm using it like every day, by the end of the month it's done. <sighs> I don't like that. When I see the bottle going halfway, I start getting anxiety like, oh my gosh, I need to buy foam wash soon. And then I don't ever buy it. I bought this foam wash it's 400 ml and this is probably gonna last me at least three months this is from the brand la roche posse i probably said that so wrong i'm so sorry let me know in the comments guys how i say it purifying foaming wash for oily sensitive skin i have oily combo skin but at the end of the night especially my skin gets a little bit oily i've never tried this brand before i don't think so i just got this for 400 milliliters it was like 30 pounds i was like that's, that's not good. bad that's because of my job obviously i get sent a lot of products in pr so like all my luxury foam washes i just keep it for like when i'm doing like a self-care routine but like you know for my day-to-day -day skincare regimen i just want something easy peasy lemon squeezy oh this is sleek lip gloss is actually one of the lip glosses i used to use my old lip combos and this is the sleek lip shop gloss impact in the shade don't ask i like to use it like right in the center do you see that it looks okay in it now imagine if i had a dark brown lip line yeah. i love these kind of nudes like baby doll kind of like powdery kind of yeah oh i got some satin scrunchies you guys know earlier in the year i relaxed my hair i was growing my hair natural i relaxed it because i wanted to do ponytails and then the other day i got annoyed that i relaxed my hair so i chopped it all off natural hair right now is mad short but it's like regrowth and then it's like dead relaxed hair <laughs> so i don't know why i got myself a silk scrunchie <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was watching Aliyah's face she picked up a silk scrunchie so when i was in the store today i was like <laughs> Mr. Me too! My natural hair right now, it can't even go up in a why that's what i don't like about these influencers. you see these influencers that's what they be doing so anyways yeah i got silk scrunchies wait but go on are you not influencer did you not just say like five minutes ago guys i'm gonna link this down below i don't think i'm an influencer i think i'm a content creator comment down below let me know if anything i've done in my vlog has influenced you to do anything i think i'm like more on the entertainment side rather than like oh yeah marketing side <laughs> 
But yeah, shout out to Silly's face. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The drugstores in the UK are really embarrassing. Go in there as a black woman and try and find a lip combo. It's just not gonna happen for you, love. It's just not gonna happen. And those of you that are black that can find your lip combos in the drugstore, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want? A blue Peter badge, like, okay, commendation, like a gold star. Do you want like the busiest B award? What do you want? No, stop. Do you know that was one of our awards in primary school? Who was the busiest B? Really? <laughs> Do you know how problematic that is? Subconsciously, no wonder when I'm just relaxing and not doing anything, I feel like I'm doing something wrong because my primary school socialized me to believe that I needed to be highly productive in order to receive an award. And all you got it was a fucking certificate. <laughs> Super drunk, you guys let me down, but it's fine. So anyways, razors. I know, I know I can get these cheap off Amazon. I know that. I got this for lace wigs, styling my hair, maybe cleaning up a little bit on my eyebrows, you know? This is my favorite, favorite lotion, okay? Well, actually, the, the Nivea lotion is my favorite lotion, but I like this one, especially when I'm in a rush because you spray it, you spray it like that. I don't have time to be going cook, 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 or zzz. get the fuck out. Technology. Get with the times, guys. This is 2021. 2022, sorry. Get with the times. Oh, and I really like this Vaseline Coco Radiance line. I like the way it smells, and I just like how it feels in my body. Lil's obviously catted me. Who? And she got the, um, the lotion kind of the same one. It's just like, it's really... She just she is so, so fake. She she's not so to fake. be independent. Like it's like, come on, like, I know we're besties, but still like be an independent woman. Yeah, be an independent woman. No, I'm joking, I catted her. <laughs> I'm not gonna like the spray thing, I thought it was a gimmick. Until I tried it myself, I was like, oh wow. Work smarter, not harder. Okay. <laughs> now guys, I know I said my hair's mad short, but I got all these scrunchies. Cause you know what? I always lose my hairband. Oh! And she got the body oil too. She got, okay, she got the Vaseline body oil and she also got the cream. Now, the thing is, I don't like it when Lil's buys this body oil because without a doubt, it's going to go on her clothes. Without a doubt. And one time she used this oil on her feet. The biggest <laughs> L and guess what? She's wearing heels. That's how you know people are rookies in this heel game. She was slipping and sliding. <laughs> And she was like, oh my gosh, I put oil on my feet. And I was like, that was me in 07, child. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. So some of this stuff is Lillian stuff. I don't know if I should show you because she's quite private. I got a dewy setting spray because sometimes like when, cause you guys know when I do my makeup, I put a lot of powder on my face and it's like super like, like, is so tight and I've got like a lip combo I found I like to use a matte liquid lip stick as a liner rather than using a pencil pencils just don't work for me I found this revolution makeup rev IRL whipped lip cream in the shade Americano brown for me personally the color of Americano is deep deep brown if this is not deep deep brown it's a bit of a brick brown. Does it dry deeper or? Oh, okay. Wait. The type of brown I thought this was gonna be, I'm gonna use this strip down. No. Absolutely not. And you see me guys, I'm the type of person, you see how you could just like open this like this to get, get I would rip <laughs> this. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Do you know what it is? Because of the shape of my lips and the color of my natural lips, I need a lip liner that is deeper than my natural lip. But let me try this lipstick on its own. See, on its own, this is pretty. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You see, guys, this is not 2009 Nicki, like the bobs. <laughs> it's not 2009 Nicki Minaj era. Antique Velvet from MAC is really deep. I need to buy this online. It's better to just apply from the stick to be honest. Antique Velvet with the lingerie lipstick in the center. This would be like the base. I'll just put a gloss on it like that. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? It's just like more of a natural look yeah. for me. I would like to challenge any drugstore makeup brand to give me 
deep chocolate shade for deep chocolate women okay show me which one of you can give me those options show me prove it to me what i then need is for the uk drugstores to actually hold those shades in their stores i bet you guys can't do that i bet you can't you see that reverse psychology you That's think about it i would like to see it and none of you guys come and hit me with Kiko. Don't tell, don't comment down below and say, Kiko got this shade in, Morphe's got this shade in. When I go down Rockford Circus, go down Rockford Street, and I walk to Superdrug, and I go into Boots, they're not there. Where are they? <laughs> Stratford Westfield. <laughs> no. I would like to walk into a drugstore. When I'm picking up my deodorant, I would also like to pick up a nice little deep chocolate lipstick. Is that a problem? Is that a crime? Buy online! No! <laughs> I would like to walk into the store and pick up something while I'm buying my shower gel. Get my prescription. Go to PAX, go to Halston, trust me. Stop. Just stop. Oh, there was also a lip liner. <laughs> and I already know. Look at the colour, guys. <laughs> Does that even look like it's gonna do anything for me? Next, we've got Urban Outfitters. And I've got bags for life because I want a bag for life. Those paper bags will just rip on, rip on you, break, and you'll be walking down Oxford Street with your shit hanging out your bags. How embarrassing. Nah, babes. So Lily got this bag. Pardon? Is that sexual? Should no. I keep that in? No, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the action in, but I'm gonna meet the sound. Because what if someone's listening on their headphones? They're gonna be like, ew, Dre, you just burped in my ear. That was so disgusting. What if someone say, that's not ladylike? No wonder you're not married yet. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! Do you know what I hate so much, yeah? When you do one thing on the internet, yeah, I can see why you're not wifed up. Fuck off! Go away! Let me call this boy right now to show. <laughs> I bought this bag for Lilianne. This cute little New Balance. What kind of bag is this? It's like a gym bag. No, but this is so cute. This is like for traveling. It's like a little travel bag. Yeah. It's New Balance. I feel like you guys should call me, hit me up, because I've been rocking your stuff for a very long time. I even put my goat on it. Like, is there no referral code? Like, I don't get it. Uh, do you know what I was thinking of when I got a bag? New York. No. Traveling. No. Hand luggage. No. What? To put Teddy in it. Teddy could actually fit in this bag. Oh my gosh, go get him. <laughs> What's that? Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. <laughs> Won't you ring the alarm? Hey. I've been through this too long. Hey. Okay, sorry. Anyway, he's a very small boy, as you can see. Look, he's basically the same size as my head. Don't try this at home, guys. If you've got small pets and animals, do not try this at home. I think, I'm sure when Lillian puts them inside, there might be like a little seat or something for him yeah, or like better. some blankets or something. He's a shaker, guys. He's not feeling this. What? And do you know what I think it is? It's the sound of the bag. Oh, I'm sorry, my baby boy. Wrong, wrong item. No, he's staying with me. Oh, this is the bag that I got. This is my New Balance shopper bag. Do you like it, Teddy? She's crying now. Yep. Do you want more pets? Oh, there you go, my baby boy. Do you want more pets? Ah. I love you very, very much, my puppy boy. I got this Ed Hardy crop top. I got it in a medium. I don't know if it's gonna fit me. I wanna see if it will. Um, but it's so cute. Look at it. If it doesn't fit me, I'm giving it to Lillian. Should I try it on? Yeah. Right now. Oh, that's cute. I'm actually so shocked that it fit. Like that. Okay guys, say bye to Teddy Bear. Come on, say Good boy. Oh my God, my baby's so cute. And you know what? I love his color. He's a black boy. Black boys, black boys, yeah, they are black boys. And one day they're gonna be black men. <laughs> I probably could have got this on Amazon for like half the price, but I spent 12 pounds on this huge claw. It's in this like silver shade, which I feel like is different. And you know when I've got a lot of hair on my head, like I could claw this. Well, obviously I need to learn how to do a claw, but you see like, then I got this groovy chick claw. What do you think Ooh, of this one? Oh, I really like this one. This one's really nice. This one was 10 pounds, guys. I can't believe I spent 10 pounds on a claw clip. And this one I feel like is for like really like thin hair or maybe like a half up, half down situation. I don't know. Lils? Oh, that's cute. 
you guys are gonna be like how did that come up to 188 pounds i don't know okay so i basically got three jackets okay and two of them i i'm not sure of but i'm gonna explain why i got them in a second okay first one is actually from the vintage section in urban look guys <laughs> okay with i can't justify it imagine this with like cleavage yeah i feel like the top is throwing everything off it is should i take the top off yeah because you guys are gonna fucking roast me. Now, do you guys see the vision? Just bear with me. Do you guys see the vision now? Like, and I have a feeling it's probably real leather. It looks like it's real. Do you guys see, look. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just have to do it with the bag as well because you're gonna pose with your bag. I had to put my original top back on because it was stressing me out, okay? Okay, so the next two bits that I got, I didn't even try these on in the store. I saw these two blazers, yeah? These are men suit jackets in urban outfitters and they were 15 pounds each i think they're second hand what happened what what you found a hundred pound or something no is it a designer no fucking way <laughs> you're lying Guys. do you think it's real I don't know. Do you think someone just like brought, brought a fake one? I saw this red one first and I was like, 15 pounds for that. I'm copping it. I just was like, okay, do you know what? Let me look for more. Whatever's 15 pounds, I'm going to cop it. What if it's like a size four? What if it doesn't fit me? <laughs> Did I just find Yves Saint Laurent suit jacket for 15? This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, imagine this with a turtleneck. And like a mini skirt nice. and tights That'll and boots. Cookie. Guys, I just found. <laughs> I have a YSL suit jacket, which I found in Urban Outfitters for £15. I don't believe it. This can't be real. This can't be real. It's probably old. If it's real. If it's real. It's probably like from the 80s or 90s. Someone's gonna tell me, no, that stitching is so fake. It's not real. Mm. I'm not gonna like wear this on Instagram and tag YSL. If people ask me where it's from, I'm like, yeah, Urban Outfitters. Apparently it's YSL. Do you know what I mean? But yep. I just found it Urban Outfitters. Because let me tell you something about me. I don't rock fake drip. Not in this decade of my life. I almost want to get it authenticated. Maybe it's fake. But why would Urban Outfitters sell a fake YSL men's suit jacket for £15? Do you think they knew? <laughs> guys, I will go to Daily Mail and I will tell Daily Mail that you guys sold me a fake wire cell jacket in your store. This better be real. Because can you even do that? And it looks like the perfect boyfriend like blazer. <laughs> guys, I found a wire cell suit jacket for £15. When Nikki said, no, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes. yes. She was not lying because let me tell you something, things like this happen to me all the time. I am beyond lucky in my life. Stop. Okay, so I found this like berry blazer too. And I was like, oh, this is nice, little pop of color. Expecting the blazer. No, it's not. Marco Donato. Do you know that brand? No. Do you? No. <laughs> Alright, so this is another blazer that I got. Oh, I love this. This is giving me very much like, have you done your homework, child? This is giving very much like, boss babe. <laughs> Just wait. Red lip with the berry. <laughs> extra, extra. Read all about it. It's giving church sermon. It's giving church <laughs> auntie, honey. It's giving church auntie realness. Yes. Give me the donation pile. Let me drop her. A few bands in there. <laughs> Get out! Praise God! Yes! Oh yes! How about my husband in church? Yes, Pastor. Oh, no. <laughs> wow! Right, the child and give God the glory, 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 children of the Lord. Break it down now.
now. Oh my god, how many blazers did I need to buy? I got this like charcoal blazer from Bershka. This one was like 50 pound, I think. It's kind of long too. Goes past my bum. Charcoal. There was a matching skirt, but I was just like, even though I've lost weight, I still feel like I have quite a bit to go before I'm comfortable again to start wearing at least mini skirts. Because the main reason why I want to lose weight, in fact, I should even say, it, is because my thighs and my bum got to a point where I just couldn't, I was just not comfortable wearing certain clothes because it just was too big and like my bum now it's still like there but i'm still having like an issue wearing skirts and i was the type of babe like back in the day like skirts were like my favorite thing like, i got yet yeah, another clip i don't know if you guys can even see that but hopefully you guys can this aviator jacket oh my gosh i got quite a few jackets it's mainly because you know london's cold new york's cold all the places i'm gonna be over the next few months is gonna be cold so this is the jacket i love it's reading very very green like christmas green it's the light that's making it look like christmas green this is lillian's jacket this aviator jacket in cream i love this jacket i really really do and i told her i'm gonna borrow it it's in a size medium as well as bear tight but if you guys see me wearing this jacket you know it's lillian i said i'm only buying accessories and i just brought like six jackets today so i love this jacket oh my gosh guys most of the jackets i got are very similar in style but i really like the style of coat this is a bit of me i probably am gonna wear this to my friend's house tonight and the thing is it's because i'm sitting down as well it's really not giving trust me when i rock this it's gonna be a vibe i really like this and it was a hundred pound and do you know what? I don't mind that it was £100 because guess what? I'm probably going to wear this for like two, three years. And guess what? When I wear this in three years time, if I'm still doing YouTube, someone might be like, babe, honey, I love your jacket. Where'd you get it from? I'm going to be like, mm, yeah, Zara, three years ago. As soon as I walked in Zara, I was like, Lils, look at that jacket. So yeah, guys, that's everything I got. Oh no, tell a lie. I got some earrings too. Do you guys even want to see that? Yep. Really? Yep. Real quick, I'm gonna do quick bio show earrings I got. So there's this one. They look like this. Yeah. I got these like little studs. They're really sparkly in real life, but I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, these ones are the little gems. When I do my hair up, I'm gonna probably wear them. And then these ones I love for everyday vibes. Just like these regular hoops, like chunky hoops. All those earrings came up to like 37 pounds and there was a promotion on in Superdrug and I got them for 22. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I was seeing the price, 9.99 also, I, like, I just closed my eyes and hope for the Lord. I was like, do you know what? At the end of the day, when I tap, it's the Lord that's paying. So <laughs> I was like, I hope for the best. And guess what? Discount when I got to the till. That's what I'm saying guys. No, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes, but I couldn't do it all alone. We, what? The Southside Jamaica, Queens and it's crazy. And I'm still hooked, Hollywood couldn't chase me. And in this moment, I just feel so alive. I was actually trying there. <laughs> come for me i don't want no jamaicans come for me for singing it wrong because let me tell you something one thing about me i'm gonna sing a song wrong child i'm a beyonce fan you guys know me ask me to sing cuff it watch the lyrics do you see far do you see far i don't feel like i'm aging anywhere else but the way that i retain lyrics ask me to sing crazy in love sing crazy in love question tell me what you No, wait crazy in love is um no more than the girl, no, understand. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. How I'm feeling, my pride is the one I'm living. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. What's the wound when she goes down on the ground? The first lyric. Um, it doesn't matter. My point is, yeah, I can't retain lyrics. So even when I really love a song, I can't, can't retain lyrics anymore. I get that. That's so sad. Hmm? That's so making you sad. Not really. I'm getting money. 
you know, even your mum and dad used to say back in the day, you know how to read the lyrics, but you don't know how to read your book. Yeah. I'm doing what my parents asked me to do, okay? I'm reading my books and I'm getting my quaint. Are lyrics gonna pay my bills? No, they're not. So why do I need to retain them? Exactly. <laughs> I am blessed. I see. I know the main parts, but the make money strip, warfire strip. Um, me can't, me can't. Any of you guys wanna come for me? Sing a Congolese song, word for word. <laughs> oh, guys, I really need to take off these lashes. Oh my days, I really don't wanna go out. <laughs> I don't wanna go. It's five o'clock. I'm so tired. If this is the end of the vlog, love you guys. Tell me in the back. You guys already know this. But if it's not, I'll see you guys in the next part. Chucking up the deuces. Chris Brown had the nerve to sing deuces when he wanted round about. <laughs> Honestly, that's what men do. Fuck, I don't care. Since you've been away, your love's been M.I.A. I thought you said fuck, I don't care. Make up your mind. What? Tell me the truth. What is it?